ultimately salt reacts with water to give acid and base so this we can say reverse process of acid base neutralization reaction of course this neutralization is with respect to arrhenius theory isn't it so we are getting the salt the same salt when placed in water that will react with the water to give acid and base but here coming to salts we have different kinds of the salts because if you take acid the acid may be weak acid or strong acid similarly if you take a base the base can be strong base or weak base so in that combination we can have four different types of the salts like uh, salt of the strong acid and strong base for example yeah joshika madhav morning for example sodium chloride the sodium chloride is the salt of the hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide yeah we can take different examples we can take different examples okay you can also take k and o3 suppose as per the definition of the salt hydrolysis suppose i am taking the first salt that is sodium chloride so this sodium chloride when placed in water so definitely as per definition we have to get sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid but here sodium hydroxide is a strong electrolyte what about hcl hcl also strong electrolyte it is also a strong electrolyte that means ultimately these will present in the form of ions only that means here in the overall reaction process we can understand that sodium ions will be hydrated and uh, cl minus ions will be hydrated so what remains as it is that means in this case we can conclude that these kind of the salts do not undergo any salt hydrolysis any salt because if you see the definition the resultant solution may be generally acidic or alkaline sometimes it may be the neutral so in this case it is neutral no isn't it so in this case we can what is the conclusion we can give here no salt hydrolysis so for this that what is the ph of the resultant solution of this category will be equal to 7 this is the category 1 category 1 let us move to category 2 salt of weak acid and strong base so in this case for example let me take sodium acetate sodium acetate of course we can also take potassium cyanide in the case of sodium acetate it is formed by the reaction between acetic acid and sodium hydroxide naoh okay now if you place this salt in water so first of all this is salt no this will undergo complete ionization to give acetate ion and 
sodium ion. But we know acetate ion is conjugate base of acetic acid. Conjugate base of the acetic acid, so which is strong. Strong conjugate base. That means if you play this in water, definitely what do you feel? Acetate ion should react with water, and also NA plus also should react with water, but ultimately we will get acetic acid and sodium hydroxide. Again, sodium hydroxide is a strong electrolyte, acetic acid is a weak electrolyte. So, which will undergo more ionization or 100% ionization? Sodium hydroxide. That means NaOH in the resultant aqueous solution remains as Na plus and OH minus. That means for this kind of the salt, for right hydrolysis, which is CH3COO minus and Na plus with water, we can have CH3COOH and Na plus and OH minus. From this, can I cancel these two? And here Na plus ions are not reacting. So these kind of the species are called as anyone? Or ions are called as? Any idea? Wow, good. Meenakshi. Spectator ion. Na plus is a spectator ion. So what is the overall reaction? That is only acetate ion, nothing but anion is reacting to give unionized weak acid and OH minus ion will be present. Is it clear? This is anion part is reacting here. So we can say this is anionic hydrolysis. So in this anionic hydrolysis, we can see resultant solution is with excess of the OH minus ions. Therefore, resultant solution is alkaline. So pH should be greater than 7. pH should be greater than 7. So in such a case, if I write down the degree of hydrolysis, then we take degree of dissociation as alpha, but it is hydrolysis reaction. So I am taking this as small h. The same I can write it as C into 1 minus h after the reaction. This will be CH. This also will be CH. Where C is the concentration, H is the degree of hydrolysis. So what is H here? degree of hydrolysis. Is it clear? Suppose if I write equilibrium constant, what we call it as KH. KH is called as hydrolysis constant. Hydrolysis constant. The same we can write it as CH3COOH into OH minus ion concentration upon acetate ion concentration. Can I multiply and divide with H plus ions concentration? There is no change in the value, you know? The same I can write as KW divided by KA. Because here we have H plus and OH minus product, this will give KW. Isn't it? So rest we can have KW by KA. 
and in the in this expression if we substitute the values that is kh is equal to what is acetic acid concentration here is it ch what about oh minus here is also ch only what about acetate ion concentration c into 1 minus h so from this we can have kh is equal to c into h square because h is very very small here degree of hydrolysis so from this can i get h is equal to square root of kh divided by c but what is kh here square root of kw by ka into c 